Koinichi. Why is it so quiet? Where's the music? No, give me the music back. Koinichiwa. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Good morning. I am exhausted today. <laughs> wow. Umemi, thank you for the fun gifted. Fila Fujira, Okui, Minty, thank you for the gifted membership. Ah, uh, Season Salt. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Thank you for the six months of Quidi as well. And Shiny Clucky, thank you for the 10. Hazardous Mix, thank you for that 13 months. I don't know why, but YouTube has been bugging out a little bit, so like it doesn't show me everyone's things. Uh, Minty, thank you for the gifted membership. Um, it like occasionally bugs out. It doesn't show me everyone if it's in pre-chat, but hello, everyone. Hello, hello. You can click a read. Oh! oh, wait, why is that? Oh my gosh, that's so loud. <laughs> Oh no, did the settings reset? I had set this up last night, but then I guess it didn't save. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> there we go, yeah. Oh, this is cute. Where did the E go? Uh, if you click the E enough times, an alien pops out from the side. So that, that's what happens. We've already clicked it. But yeah. We... All right, so chat, we're going to go and start a new save. Oh, there's some music. Yes. Ooh. <clears throat> is there co-op? Yes, there is, but we need to get the other boys into it. I think Haka is unfortunately too busy doing his own thing. We need to wait for our schedules to line up once. <gasps> Meadowlands Farm? It's a new farm, chat. It's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. Start with two chickens. Start with two chickens. I feel like this is... This requires you to be pretty good at the game. I'm not sure, because I've never had animals before in, in Stardew. I've never gotten to that point. <laughs> oh, isn't music still very loud? I'm gonna drop it down just a tad bit. I feel like it's still pretty loud. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, chat. Real quick. Um, last night, the boys and I went out to get some food. Um, because I was like working in the apartment, and then like, uh, they sent me a text. And they were like, "Hey, should we?" Come out, let's go. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, what are we doing? He's like, oh, we're getting dinner at like nine. And I was like, cool, uh, where? And like, we don't know, but just just go up. I was like, okay, but where? Uh, <laughs> and then um, we went to this one place that for a Saturday night was surprisingly empty. And we were like, hmm. I wonder why it's so empty. And then we ate the food and we figured out why it was so empty. I don't want to say which place it was because you can't like bad mouth like companies and like stores and stuff like that, right? But um, I went, like the boys got some ramen and like the ramen had this weird chemical smell to it. I feel like one of them smelled like dishwasher fluid. Like, you know, the dirty dishwasher, like water, like it smells kind of like stale but kind of chunky right it was like that did anyone get food poisoning i think it, it well it wasn't food poisoning i just have an upset stomach but i think it was me um because i ordered like chicken skewers uh and the chicken was cold well i wouldn't say cold but it was like warm and i was like hmm this is probably not that great to eat but like i had just ordered it and i was kind of like huh I would feel bad about like just like returning it because I don't I don't know how to do like I don't know how to make return food uh, in Japan. It was kind of like warm. Please don't tell us if it was raw. No, it wasn't raw. It was like fully cooked, but it was like fully cooked and then it was let allowed to chill for a bit. Um, but that at that point it was like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and I had left at like seven, and I was like, you know what? It's been like two hours. I'm just hungry. I want to get some food, so I ate it. Like microwave warm? No, like 
like it was freshly grilled and then it was just left there to chill for a while uh so i ate that and it was okay i guess <laughs> Ivy, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Um, but last night I did not have any. I didn't have. Blah, 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 blah. Last night I didn't have too many issues, but this morning, um, I've been feeling it, chat. I've been feeling it. So, if I have to go to a couple of vital meetings throughout the stream, you know why? It's because I ate room temperature chicken. Don't eat room temperature chicken, chat. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're gonna give this a shot. It says not the best for growing crops, but I kind of like crops because, like, you get to you get to like some of the crops regrow, and I really like that. Also, the blueberries and things like that, you know. Um, but should we try? I feel like Meadowlands Farm is like an advanced, uh, advanced farm. Like, it's a farm that, like, you should be playing after you have experience playing Stardew Valleys. You can grow crops, you, still have, you just have less space. Okay, if it's less space, gonna miss the zombies. That's true! There are the spooky, this, and, like, the creepy crawlies in the wilderness farm. I, well, hmm. Simi, thank you for the 10 months of Quiddy. Her tubby should be taken. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Thinking back to my experience on the wilderness farm, at nighttime, we only killed maybe like a total of six bats and like six slimes and maybe two zombies. So like, even though there are monsters, and I like the monsters, there aren't that many. Also, we don't really stay out that long because we're, we spent like, yeah, it was like 10 monsters in total because most, <laughs> most of the time we spent in the mines so like, even if it is nighttime outside, we won't see the monsters on our farms because we're spending that much time in the mines instead. So like, maybe the will the Meadowlands, the, like, the Wilderness Farm was fun, but let's try the, let's try the Meadowlands because it's new, you know. <laughs> were the bats valuable or no? Not really. They were only valuable because we had a couple of the levels in the mines where like bats uh, constantly spawn and we just got a whole bunch of those also it's, it is a new map or a new farm for the 1.6 update so we might as well you know archaic bro not gonna little thank you for the orange super chat not gonna lie reluctant to upgrade to 1.6 because i have star duke extended and original install anyway Meadow can work with regrowable crops. Hope your stubby feels better. Flushing the chicken out is the only way now. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine though. <laughs> uh, I guess this is like the one benefit of not having mods. Um, We can't use mods. So like we don't have to worry about mod compatibility when we upgrade to a new, a new version. So I guess like that's a little a silver lining for our, for me. <laughs> Some of the more famous popular mods are already updated. I believe so. I saw like the discussion about it. Like Concerned Abe was talking on um Twitter. Elysium. That was about talking uh how they were giving advanced notice to many of the modders to make sure that they could like upgrade things and make sure everything's compatible before the 1.6 update comes out. Which I thought was really cool. I thought that was really nice. The town survived on bat wings. <laughs> Installed 130 mods. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Favorite thing. Since I know that this favorite thing is used for the to describe the flavor of whatever the thing that you ate was, I'm just gonna go put it as ghosts, like in general, because I, I, I now know what the what the input text is for. You know, <laughs> star drops. That's what it is. Yeah, because we found one star drop that we ate it and was like, it tastes like the spookies, and I was like, what? All right. Oh. They're so cute. <gasps> Poppers. 
This one looks most like Biscuit. Oh, adorable puppers. Cute. But if you make it something you're funny, it'll very it'll be very funny when you eat the star drop. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? Depression. When you eat it, it tastes like depression. <laughs> ah. All right. Let's see if I remember. Um, I'm kind of pale. I think it was. Where where was? I think it was this? And then my hair was a ponytail, right? Wait, it looks e it's easier to see from the side. Ponytail. Was it that one? No, it was up. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was that was the one. Uh short was orange. There was an orange one, wasn't there? Wait. Oh, that's right! We picked the jacket instead, because it looks like my jacket, except slightly darker. I forgot. And then for pants, I think it was just this, but we wanted to change the to just the black pants color. Because that's what I got. That's what I have right now. Uh, Hair color, a little bit darker. I think mine's like completely like gray-black. Kind of like this. Because I want a little bit of contrast. Because if we make, if we make it too solid black, it's hard to tell, and it just looks like a chunk. So we want to add like a little bit of highlights to that with the contrast there. Yeah. And then my eye color is closer to like a turquoise. Maybe. Yeah. God. I want. I want facial hair. <laughs> I wish I could get facial hair. Oh my god. I wish I could get facial hair. I remember putting PP the first time I played Chucky the first Star Trek. <laughs> oh no. They should warn you about what your favorite thing is, like in case you. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could have facial hair. Man. 90% of the time I make bounty tests with Kingdom Hearts as my character, then there's a random period of making new characters. <laughs> then there's Edith, who's where I see his character. Ooh. Contractually required facial hair. Yeah, it's like barely noticeable. It's, it's kind of there, like you have to zoom in real close. All right, new farm, Meadowlands. We're gonna skip the intro because we've already seen it and we don't need like another dose of, of like reality. <laughs> You have more facial hair than anyone else. I know, but I want like, I want like a thick beard. You know, like I think that would be kind of cool. You know, all right. Shinwiwi Elysium Ghosts. I think this is good, and we're using the new farm, Meadowlands. It is one point six, so we might as well, right? There's like a lot of reasons why we should try the Meadowlands farm. All right, let's go. Oh. <gasps> Get a beard since you should be. Oh, I've been loving. I haven't seen the latest episode. I just haven't had time. But I've been loving uh, uh, Dungeon Meshi. Wait, hold up. Hold up. This is not full screen. I have to... Uh, options. Where, where's full screen again? Wait. Oh, there it is. Full screen. <laughs> Wait, now I can't see chat. Oh no, chat, where did you guys go? Okay. Uh, let me pop you all out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I've been having so much fun watching Dungeon Meshi. If I could, I would just like keep watching the whole thing. I need to get back onto it because I haven't seen the light, uh, the latest episode. Ooh, all right. Oh, wait. There we go. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> You received 15 hay? Dried grass used as animal food. Oh. Wait, hold up. I'm a little bit off center. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <gasps> we got hay, chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. 
Have you seen the person who cooks the food? Senshi? Yeah! Senshi's been pretty great. I like it. I like Senshi. Okay. Uh, first things first. <laughs> Weather report. We can check this in the night, but we'll check it now. We. Here, let's stick myself a little bit to the side. Yeah, there we go. All right. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Nice. Fortune teller says, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Wait, got one more thing. Living off the land. <gasps> this one's for you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Oh, that's right. We can still harp. We can still forge things. Ooh. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I forgot how at the beginning of all these games, you have to, like, just clean up. Oh, my God. This is such a mess. This is such a disaster. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. We got to... Oh! The bluegrass is so pretty, though. Okay. Let's focus on the things that will help us be productive early on. So let's go clear out this little area. The bluegrass is so pretty. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? They're so small. Wait. Oh. Grushenka. Age one month. Baby. Grushenka looks really happy today. Chicky! Oh, they're so cute! Hopper's empty, build a silo, and cut grass with your site to refill it. Uh... Wait, can I... do I... Wait, hold up. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Uh... I gotta change the settings. Hotkeys, hotkeys, hotkeys. I want this to be, like, tab. Access... Shift toolbar, no, not toolbar. Uh, where's escape? Where's escape? Access menu, tab. No, okay. Uh, tab. We'll set that to P for now. Access menu, tab, and then we'll leave that for P. Okay, there we go. Much better. Release the chimkins. No. I could see someone who's like not really familiar with it, like accidentally clicking sell for two hundred. 52 gold and then just completely ruining their play because now they don't have the chickens to begin with. <laughs> a silo is required. Oh no. Okay, can we build a silo? Um. What do we need to build a silo? Oh no. Can I, can I just, can I just... Okay, okay, okay. We can we can feed them hay, like just regular hay for the time being. Okay, all right. But we need to. Oh no, we're not. We're on a timer now. We gotta go figure out how to get the silo quick. Okay, wait. Robin builds it. Okay, we gotta go. We can go eat. Uh, go talk to talk to Robin. There's an IRL VTuber who cooks the food from Dungeon Metro trying to follow Senshi's recipe. Looks really good. <gasps> Ooh. Jojo, thank you for the super. Thank, thank you. Don't forget to close the gate. Wait, do I have to close the gate? Open the coop door. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I'm under so much pressure. All right. Uh, it's 9:40 a.m. That's okay. It's just like a nice little. Uh, you know, a nice little healthy dose of morning. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, they're so cute. What? He's so small. Look at that. It's a doll. Okay, okay. We leave him. We leave him there. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to Robin real quick because I have no idea how much the silo costs. So we're gonna go find out exactly how much the silo costs, and then. Since we will be in that area, we're also going to head into the mines real quick so we can pick up some quartz. 
Ooh, that's right, we can just keep forging things. Oh wait, that's right, there's a faster way just going to the north of the, the farm. I completely forgot. <laughs> It's either 100 or 1,000. I don't remember how many zeros. Oh, no. They can free run the fenced area. They can also feed the grass. You don't need to worry about the hay. Wait, if I, if I cut out the grass, then like... Oh, there's a lot of forage stuff. What the heck? Okay, okay. Let's go quickly, quickly. The urge to convince my manager I'd be allowed to own chickens. Grow, um, not, don't raise chickens, raise quails. I hear quails are a lot more, um, amenable. It'll regrow. Don't cut the grass in the chicken area. Okay, okay. Uh, construct farm buildings. Coop. Barn, well, silo. Oh god. Uh... Wait, I know where to get stone. I know where to get copper bars. How do I farm clay? I don't think I've ever farmed clay in the game before. I have no idea where to find the clay. <laughs> oh no. I've never farmed clay. Use a hoe in the ground? Okay, okay, okay. Oh wait, the little worm thing's on the ground, right? That's where, that's where it's from, right? RNG ground digging? Oh god. It's time to get our hoeing on, chat. Okay. Can I help? Can I help? Please, please let me help. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wait, just hoe like randomly on the ground? Does that actually. Wait, here, worms. Clay. One clay. Okay, we just need to find more. Oh no. Wait, but now I can't... Ah, oh, darn it. Because in my mind, I was thinking like, what if we just went to the mines real early and then started feeding Abigail? How weird would that be, chat? If like you showed up to... Uh... Okay, since we need stone anyway, let's go ahead and clear out some of the area here with, of the stone. How weird would it be if, like, someone came, like, someone new, came to your city or town, and then, like, immediately started giving you your favorite food? Like, at first, they'd be like, wow, that's so cool. Like, I, I did, like, how'd you know this was my favorite, right? And, like, after a while, you're just kind of like, wait a minute, like, this guy is, like, suspiciously really good at knowing exactly what I like. What's going on? You know? Have you ever thought about that, Jen? I, like... It also comes along with like the whole thing because I saw on um, I think on like, Twitter, someone was talking about how like she and her friend was like if we ever get stuck in a time loop, we both mutually agreed to like always listen to each other and take each other completely seriously, because like if you're stuck in a time loop and all the movies that we've seen about time loops like reveal exactly what happens, everyone's just kind of like, oh no, you're just being silly. You're not. You're not real. And then they waste so much time when they could be productive, you know? So... Wait. Should I also get the wood? I don't need the wood for anything, but I also can't carry anything in my inventory. You want know here? I'll eat the radishes. Or leeks, I guess. They look like radishes, though. I'm just a wiki character in someone else's game. God. God. That's that's so true, though. The game with the super diggy dog day. That's so true. Okay, uh... What is this? Wild horseradish? You know what, here, we'll, we'll chop all these things up. They don't despawn yet, so we'll be okay, right? I think, maybe? Oh no! Chad, I completely forgot how terrible it is to have very little inventory space. <laughs> no! Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can build a... Here, we'll put... We'll... We'll put the horseradish down for now. Pain. Pain, chat. See, this is the kind of stuff like, you, you ever have a game when you really want to go back and play, right? And then you just remember that one level and you're like, ah, 
do I really want to go through all that level ever, like, all over again, right? Like, for me personally, I love Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, right? But do I want to go through the Water Temple again? No. And that's like smack in the middle of the game. Like, I love the Shadow Temple. I love uh, the Well. I love the uh, the Forest Temple, right? But like, the, uh, the Water Temple? Ah. Like, I think about it and I'm just like, ah, do I really want to go do that whole thing all over again? And like, that's the thing that stops me, you know? Man. The grinding and the hard level. Yeah, it could be a lot. Yeah, scoop all those. Almost. We almost have 50. There we go. All right. One chest. I'll throw away that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. All right. Uh, we don't need the watering can, nor the hoe for now. Okay. Yeah. The water levels are overrated. Well, here's the thing. Like, yeah, Spirit Temple is my favorite too. The thing is, like, for me, like, as an adult, I could probably deal with it now. But back then, as a kid, I was traumatized because I kept have to, having to go, like, up and down. And, like, remember what floor a switch was on to raise the water witch level. And, like, I was traumatized as a child. So, like, it's still, even though, like, I know I at this point, I'm probably smart enough to handle it. Like, emotionally. Oh. Oh no, I scared the butterflies out. Man. The childhood trauma is too real. Yeah. Oh gosh, and I forgot how low our our stamina is. Okay. You know what? Since we have chickens that are kind of growing on their own, um, we should try to like double stack productivity. So like get both the uh chickens going and like honestly i think this is a, this amount of space is good enough for like the beginning levels of just crops so i think it's the best of both worlds at this point at the like early stages anyway like we're not going to end up with like super industrialized uh crop operations but we'll still get a good chunk of early farm or uh early Props. There we go. Surprised you didn't plant parsnips? No, because I want to get that silo to make sure that we're good on that first. Okay. Oh no, it's getting dark already. Is there a chance that we can get quartz from these stones? I wonder if it's possible to feed Abigail enough, uh, enough food before the flower dance. That we can actually get a dance or i wonder if that's like supposed to be scripted like you're not allowed to oh my god wait chat what are you guys talking about there's tons of space here what oh my gosh there's look oh my god look at that space this is plenty what there's so oh my god No, there's... <laughs> the way that chat was describing it, I thought it was going to be like super tidy and there was going to be like barely any space or like crops. But no, this place is huge. Like there's plenty of areas. Like I guess the grass is a little bit annoying. Just like smack in the middle here. But aside from that, oh, there's a ton of space. You need the grass to get hay. Wait, do I just leave the regular grass and do I just cut like these ones? Wait, hold up. Do we do I have to put the chickens inside? Okay, it's 9 p.m. That's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they're trying to sleep. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. Chad, have you seen like baby chicks and baby ducklings try to sleep? They're so cute. Like they try to stay up. They try to like keep their eyes open, but then their head like slowly like tilts over like that. And they just like fall over because they're so small. Oh. 
sleepy little babies. Yeah. They're so cute. Wait, hold up. We should close. There we go. Just in case. All right. Uh, we'll put you in here. Put all of this in here. Put them now. Okay. Uh, oh shoot, that's right. I forgot we had to... Do we have time? I think we can make it. I want to go to the beach real quick and see if we could pick up some... Uh, why is my brain not working well today? Clams? No, not clams. Uh, sea urchins and coral. The forage things. Why my brain brain not work today? <laughs> Forageables. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Oh, look at that clam. Perfect. And oyster. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. We don't have it in mind. Oh, muscle. Let's go. Because until we get our farm up up and running, uh, this will be the only way we can actually make money. <laughs> can we have steamed clams? I've actually never made steamed clams before. How do you make steamed clams? Is it literally just steaming clams? I've seen a place that served uh, steamed clams. Steam plus clam. <laughs> I've seen some people making um, like clams, but what they do is they like season the whole clam. And then I've always thought like, why, why do you season the outside of the clam? Because like you're not eating the shell, you're only eating the inside, right? So why would you like season the whole clam, you know? Like, it, it doesn't, it never made sense to me. Go to sleep for the night. Yes. Level one foraging, axe efficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds, wild seeds, field stack. Yeah. You don't eat your clamshells? No, my enamel's really thin. Unfortunately, I can't do that because my, uh, my, my dentist, like a long time ago, like 10 years ago, I haven't been to the dentist since then has told me that my enamel is too thin for that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, give me, excuse me. The seasoning is a must. I know that seasoning is a must, but like, at the same time, like, why do you season the outside of the clam? You know, that's what I'm worried, wondering about, you know? Okay. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is too full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out the affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Affordable, 10,000 gold pieces. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Thanks, Willie. All right, let's go double check. I've never raised chickens before, so you can eat the outside of a clam. No, don't, don't, do not eat the outside of the clam. Oh, cute. Okay, we should open the door. There's no grass here, so I think what we can do is clear out the debris. And then this opens up new spaces for um, grass to spawn in, right? Because if grass respawns, then like, we want to open up as many spots as possible so that there's more like valid locations for the grass to grow in. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, since I had accidentally cut down all the grass there, we'll give them hay to survive another couple of days. Just two pieces. Yeah. The chicks are living is such like oh my god you're right they have a waterfall and like a little creek next to them oh my god they're living lit up they live better than i do chat <laughs> what a view look at that ah oh, these chicks are spoiled oh my god 
I wish I could live where the view was like a waterfall. That's so cool. All right. Uh, when does the when do the mines open again, Chad? You can store hay in the box inside the coop. I tried. It told me I need the silo first. So we're trying to uh, we're trying to wait for. Uh, no, sorry, not wait for it. We're trying to farm enough materials to own the silo first. Okay, so we got to get the hoe. Alright, um... 40% of the stone, so we should just try to finish up the rest of the stone that we need. There's 100 stone, right? Mine's open day 5. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so I should cut this, these grass, but I leave this one alone. Like, all of this one, I leave it alone, right? So I cut these for the fiber. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, chat. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Give me that fiber. All right, all right. <laughs> Man. Okay, going back to the thing about like, what if someone like, ooh, wrong, big one. Uh, what if someone came up to you and was like, hey, like, here's your favorite food, here's your favorite candy, over and over again. What would you guys do though? Because, like, for me, I kind of would have said, you know, okay, maybe there's something going on here. You know, like this person can either read my mind or they're like a time traveler, you know? And like, we've done this before. I would think they're a stalker. Okay, that's actually, that's actually pretty valid. That's a, that's a thing I had not considered because I, oh no. <laughs> this is true. It would be pretty weird um, in a bad way. My brain was stuck in like the, like the, in the positive, in the positive mindset, but I, I guess that that is actually completely valid too. <laughs> The bluegrass is rare? Oh, so... Ooh. Okay, so we don't have to touch these at all. Got some new ideas to sleep on. Alright, come on, come on. Okay, we need to find some more of those little worms in the ground. Because I need to get some more clay. After we collect all of these rocks, let's head back into the town and just run around the dirt pads, see if we can find some clay. Those little uh, worms poking out the ground. These chat I know are supposed to be flowers, like right here, but my brain sees them as jellies. I I can't I can't unsee jellies. It looks like jelly, you know. I know they're supposed to be flowers, but but look at them. Like it's got like the little shiny part on top of it. Like they look like jellies to me. <laughs> There's this building again. I saw this in my previous playthrough and I have no idea what it was. I don't, I've never figured out what this was. Jelly flowers, they kind of do, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I think we almost have enough. 59, okay. I think we're good for now. We can go find some more as we get through. All right, let's see. Yeah, we just need two more stone. All right, now is... Okay, we should go drop everything off. Drop axe, scythe, replace hoe, and pickaxe. All right, now we go into the town and we search for everything we could forage, plus all of uh, the clay, if we could find some. Slime flowers, the fishing rod. You can plant those seeds. Oh, that's right, we can. We'll, okay, we'll do it. We'll do that before we, we go to sleep tonight. All right, come on, worms. Worms. <laughs> My nose is so stuffy. Magic a place to find wonderful stuff. Worms, worms, worms. Where are you, worms? You need five copper bars so you'll get the stones by the time you need to get those. Yeah, like. No! I just want to go forage. <laughs> uh. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. 
you'll divinely meet you. I'm gonna give them all like gruffy voices because I can't. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul, so a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, you want you to have my old fish rod. I found it funny how it's like, I bought a new rod, here's my old one. Like, <laughs> it's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. Hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Like, I, I understand it's for the gameplay purposes, but like just thinking about like, because I've never really had the, like, I guess like at most I've given like my old microphone to a friend, but like I wouldn't just give them unsolicited. Like I would ask like, hey, like, do you need a new microphone? You know? Bamboo pole. <clears throat> There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Wait, you can recycle the fishing rod? Hey, <laughs> you look like you can't buy your own equipment. <laughs> okay, we're going to ignore that right now because our focus is on where? Ah! <gasps> Tried starfish? Cute! Okay, more wares. What? A whole book? What the? <laughs> Alright, more things. Let's go. Clam. I forgot how much it costs to repair this thing. 300 pieces of wood. Okay, okay. You can do that too. Ooh. You can hoe any of the sand. But does it give us... But does it give us clay? Because I don't think it gives us any clay. Yeah, I don't think it gives us clay. And I've been using up my stamina on that, so probably not. Alright, let's keep going though. It's kind of rare. It's RNG. No. Early on, our stamina is really important, so let's avoid wasting too much of that. Yeah. We're going to ignore everyone in the town. Unless people unless we have to talk to them, we're gonna ignore them all and go straight for Abigail. And only Abigail. <laughs> this random person just showed up. Started setting up a farm and has done nothing but talk to Abigail. Does he talk to anyone else? No, it's just Abigail. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, Worms, where are you? Me with Penny, local introvert. <laughs> Leah is better than Abigail? No! Leah doesn't eat locks. What the? I'm not- what? Who's losing all these books? <laughs> Why is everyone losing books? <laughs> where, where are all these books coming from? Oh my god. <laughs> please. Please just open up. Please. I need, I need to get in there. Man. The librarian's gonna love you. Some kid. <laughs> the worms are stealing the books. Yeah, we're saving the books and the worms. All right. Let's see. Um, you know what? We might as well just start collecting wood as well after we're done harvesting or foraging. Okay, so new plan. Every single day we wake up, forage first, and then we come back and use the rest of our energy to collect wood. Because with 300 wood, we can... Uh, repair that bridge. We're at 80. About a third of the way there. Horseradish. Daffodil. Um, we'll just sell these. Wait. No. Uh, okay. Uh, sell. 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 Q. 
keep this and we can give it to Gunther later. Yeah. Random. Just completely random RNG. Okay, uh I think we're good for today. We might as well call it early because you don't have any stamina to do anything with. Do I have anything? Don't sell the starfish. Okay, we, we won't sell the starfish. Coal resource. Wait, where's the auto sort button? Organize. Yeah. Uh, I think we've done everything that we need. Plant the seeds. Oh yeah, we can do that. Do we have enough stamina to make that work? One. Okay, yeah, we have plenty of stamina. All right, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get close. All right. Is it okay to leave the chickens just out here on their... On... On their own? Oh, they're both inside already. Oh. Whoa. That was a really spooky transition. I thought there was like something. I felt like some some crazy, like scary thing was gonna happen because it just went dark all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, that transition spooked me. I was like, "What? Why? Why did it get so dark all of a sudden?" All right, let us check the weather. All right, it's gonna be rain all day tomorrow. Okay, in that case, what do I do? Do I just leave the chickens inside the coop? Go to sleep for the night. Suddenly a horror game. <laughs> Let's go, cherry bomb. Ooh. Solid amount. Oh, they stay inside on their own. They won't go out anyway. <gasps> nice. Okay, okay. Let's go. Ooh. Raise the volume a bit more so we get that rain ambiance. Ooh. Okay. Um, we don't have any hay, so we gotta make sure we feed the chickens. One, two. Ooh. Wait, those are supposed to be owls? At the oh! Wait, they grew up already? No way. What? They grew up already? And eggs? Egg. Regular brown chicken egg. Regular white chicken egg. Ooh. Feeding animals. Okay, build a silo. We're doing that. Uh, don't worry about those. Okay. Wait, wait, hold up. This is done. Uh, do, do, do we just, do we just sell them? I, they grow up so fast. Wait, do chickens die? I hope they don't die. Do we just sell the eggs? You can turn it into mayo. I, I want to know how expensive they are or like how valuable they are. They don't grow old, they can't die. Okay, thank goodness. Oh my god. I was gonna be so sad if I had to like keep buying new chicks to raise because they kept dying. I would have been so sad. Oh, that's right! You can drink mayonnaise now. That's right. Oh my god. Okay. It's raining, but we're still gonna follow our plan. They can die if you lock them outside of the coop at night. Oh, okay, okay. They should produce eggs once a day. You can sell eggs the better you raise them, the better quality eggs. Ooh. Yeah, you can drink mayonnaise. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. You know? <laughs> Here's the thing. If I had a nickel for every single time I played a game where you could drink mayonnaise, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but kind of strange when you think about it. Because you can drink mayo 
in Tarkov. Um, and what it does is it completely drains your hydration meter. So you can get, you can fill up your like food meter, but you can, but you also risk uh, completely dehydrating yourself with the mayonnaise. Season Sucker so Fox, thank you for the 12 months, look lady, one year. Thank you to the generous Koi gifters. Also wish, wanted to wish you and the Koi's a happy Easter. Gonna go cuddle my pretty girl. Ah, thank you, thank you. And yeah, happy Easter to those who celebrate. Yeah, in Tarkov, you can drink mayonnaise. It's, it, it fills up your food meter at the, at the expense of completely demolishing your hydration meter. So your character gets like super, uh, super thirsty. <laughs> You're obsessed with games where you can drink mayo. <laughs> How long has the mayo been out there in Tarkov? Uh, we don't ask that question. They're just like magical jars of mayonnaise. Come on, worms. Where are the worms? Come on, worms. Oh, wait, we should take a quest just in case. Running low on sunfish. Oh, I hate fishing though. I hate fishing. I don't like the mini game. Okay, come on, come on. Worms. Worms, worms, worms. It's raining, so no sunfish. <laughs> worms? Forage? Any kind? Anything? No, there's nothing here. Fishing is the easiest money early game, but I hate the mini game. I hate the mini game. I don't like it. The fact that the fish meter the, or the fish bar moves up and down so smoothly, but the like the reeling meter thing is floaty. I hate the floatiness of it. Skill issue? Yeah, it's totally a skill issue, but. I'll, I still hate it. <laughs> Come on. Where? Where's... There's no worms. Of all the days that we can't find worms coming out of the ground, it's... It's the rainy days. Wait, chat. You know when it rains, how all the worms start coming out of the ground? I've been told there's a lot of reasons for it, but like, one reason that I've been told is because that the water fills up the air gaps in the ground and it floods the area so the worms can't breathe. So in order to breathe, they try to swim outside, they crawl out and they jump onto the surface. Is that true? I've never actually looked up exactly why worms climb out into the open when it rains. They would drown? Is that true? That's what I've heard? Oh. Okay, since we can't find any forage or any kind of uh, worms, I'm going to go ahead and chop down the trees for wood. Because they'll draw and they breathe through their skin. Oh, butterflies! Cute. Wait, excuse me. Worms instinctively surface when the rain hits the dirt. Some birds abuse this to make the worms surface by hitting the ground with their feet. Oh, that's so smart. That's so cool. Man, if you're interested in slightly more realistic worm rate interactions, it's also Terraria. That's another game that I'm like afraid to start because I started this and now I'm kind of like getting really into it. <laughs> Man. Did you know a long time ago I used to be a toxic gamer who only played like competitive shooters and stuff? Could you believe that? And now here I am just like, oh my god, chickens. <laughs> Alright, how much wood do we have already? Like 80, right? So... Maybe not today, but we might be able to get enough for tomorrow. Growth. My chickens are so cute. Nah, I used to be pretty I used to be pretty toxic back then in the old days. That was like a very long time ago, you know? Age hits us all. We just get tired, that's the thing. Alright, 109. We got 
83 stamina. We should be fine. Did you play the original CS? I did. It was okay. Um, I played CS back in the day when like everyone's PCs were really bad. So, like as a gimmick, or as like a troll griefing move, everyone could buy a smoke grenade and then throw it at the very beginning of the match and then see if anyone else on the other side of the team uh, disconnected because their PC couldn't render all the smoke. So like. <laughs> Oh no, nine. Okay, that that's gonna be it. We, we can't get the other one, that's five. All right, there we go. Let's see. Almost, almost 300, almost 300. Do we have enough for field snacks, actually? I think we do. <gasps> Let's go. It's 4 p.m., we should... Hmm, do I want to eat these right now? Can forage the spring onions by the sewers for a bit more energy? By the sewers? Wait, where are the sewers again? I forget. Energy bars. It's just like a, a save for the mines. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we need to blitz through the mines as fast as we can. In the forest to the south of your farm. Lower side, downwards. Okay, okay. Sewer onions. Mm. Homemade nature's valley. You would think that at least you would require um, like nuts and grains and then maybe some honey. But no, you can just make them with the nuts by themselves. Uh... Oh no, this part's completely sealed off again. <laughs> I had to get that Lisa Scythe to clear it out. I was like, could I just walk through it without spending stamina? But no. Yeah, how do they bind, right? Because right now it's just like... At most it's like trail mix, you know? It's like a bundle of just random nuts, you know? How, how does it stick together? Where did the, where did the wrapper come from? All right, don't cut these, but we get to go through here. Cut that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Spring onion, ooh. What is this? Nice. Tree. Wait. What was that sound? What? What was that sound? There was like a water, like a water sound. What? That was weird. <gasps> Ooh. I have no idea what it was. Yeah, it was like a water sound. Is it the scythe? No, the scythe has like a whoosh whoosh sound. This, like, I, I clicked here. Huh? What? What? Wait, is there something here? Why does my cursor turn to a hand? There's something here. Oh, it's for later? Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. A secret that we'll find out later, I suppose. Alright, let's keep going. More fiber. Uh, sewers. We're looking for sewers. Oh, that's right, we're looking for sewers. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, I keep getting distracted by things. My brain cannot. <laughs> There it was again. The water sound. Um. Which way to sewers? Which way to sewers? Is it down? Is it just further down? Ooh. More spiders. There's that thing. Uh. This is where the little cat sells hats. Down and to the right. This way. 
Oh my god, speaking of that. <laughs> um, I've been seeing some more of those with the... What is it? The... Like, how to tell the difference between left and right. And then, like, all the videos of people were like... There was this one video, I think this guy's, like, rock climbing. And he's like, oh, use your left hand. And he's like, which, which is what left? It's like, use your fingers to tell which one's left or right. And then he, like, lets go of both hands. Because he's trying to find, like... He's trying to figure out which is the left and which is the right. He just falls off the cliff. It's across the bridge. Okay. Chad, I've never been to the sewers, so, like, I have no idea. Across the little bridge. Okay. Little bridge. Little bridge. Alright, that's swallowed off. Sewers. <gasps> Spring onions. Oh, let's go. Oh, so this is the sewers. 13 energy plus 5 health. Ooh, nice. Okay, we'll save these. We'll save these for later. Yeah. Yum, sewer onions. I, I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm lost. Oh, no. Wait, don't. <gasps> Ooh, I accidentally used up my energy there. Oh, shoot. That sounds so wrong. Hey, it's it's better than like floor mushrooms. You know, Chad? <laughs> Thankfully, like none of my housemates have ever been this bad. Um, but like I've seen horror stories of people living in college dorms where like they'll just leave the entire place like moist in a really bad way. And then like their ground will start growing mushrooms from the floor because it just it's like damp constantly. Um, yeah, at least it's not floor mushrooms. Okay, weather report for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. Dehumidifier tide. Damp from what? Like in their bathrooms, they'll like shower and they'll just leave water on the ground, you know? Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, Chad. I, like my muscles are already sore. Can a human grow mushrooms from themselves? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, your body's defense mechanisms will be really good at killing in all the uh, like spores as they try to grow. <gasps> choo choo, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the 13 months of Koidi. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we? Glad to tell you that you're going to be a Koi grandpa. I caught a little cat when it was throwing away garbage last night. Can you give it a name? That's really hard for me. <gasps> a cat? A cat name? Um. Mm. Oh no, I'm really bad at names too. <laughs> Uh, first, Okoidi, thank you for re the membership. Cat name? Cat name. I'm trying to think of a cat name. What would I call a cat? Like, my favorite names for cats... Puneko? Puneko? Oh, it's like Puniko? Oh, Puneko? <laughs> Wait, Puneko is kind of cute too. It's like Puniko, but then Puneko because Neko for cat. Because Neko, yeah, Puniko. Puniko. Because you have like Puniko, Puni Puni, but it's a cat, so Puniko. Oh, that would be cute, yeah. Puniko. <laughs> I think Puniko might be really cute. Because it, yeah, there we go. Puniko. Like, my personal favorite names for cats are just like small animals in general, would be like really intimidating, scary names. Like, a hamster named, like, Balth Balthazar, the World Destroyer, you know? But Puneko is really cute, too. That's adorable. Oh, I hope you raise Puneko very well. Oh, the, sorry, the music's so loud. I hope you raise Puneko very well. Take very good care of it. Yeah. Reginald the Great, right? 
I think it's good to, <laughs> to give dogs human names. I knew someone who named their dog Brittany, and it was odd because it'd be like, oh, you want to meet Brittany? And I was like, okay. Like, I, because in my person, I thought it was like a person, right? Because, like, Brittany, it's like, like, it sounds like a person's name, right? And then, like, the dog comes out. I'm like, oh, like, the dog is named Brittany. Like, naming a, an animal, like, a human name has always been odd to me, you know? Because in my brain, like, I just automatically assume it's a person, you know? <laughs> That'd be so awkward. I think, like, if you have a pet, you can name it anything you want. Like, you should pick something adorable, like precious, you know? Like Beelzebub, the destroyer of souls, or like, you know, things like that. <laughs> because then, like, when you're running around trying to, like, catch your pet and you're like, screaming, like, Britney, Britney, right? What, what will your neighbors think, you know? Because your neighbors are like, why why are they like screaming at Britney? You know, what what did Britney do? <laughs> the Chihuahua named Mark. My dog is named George. I couldn't. I couldn't. Beelzebub is one of my cat's names. Aww, cute. My mother had a dog named Meow. Oh, that's adorable. And you have a dog named, or a cat named Wolf. Cute. All right, the weather for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. Nice. All right. It's not day four or day five yet, so the mines have not opened. I'm gonna sell. No, we're, gonna, we're not gonna sell any of it. We're gonna hold on to it. We're gonna hold on to all of these. Okay. Let's go put all this away. Watering can. Water our mystery seeds. I don't know what they are, I don't know what they're going to grow into be, but it's fine, okay. Yeah. What mom's chihuahua's name? Punky? A dog named Shrip? Aww. Oh, wait, hold up. I forgot. They need hay for now. The grass grows so slowly. One, two. Imagine naming your dog Karen. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, cute, cute. All right, there we go. Wait, do I need to water this? Or is this always full of water? Shy Violet, thank you for the super. Ragnarok, devourer of souls, is a shadow dog corgi, and I love them all. <laughs> that's like, that's my favorite thing with it. Oh. Cute. Very cute. I love pets that have old and outdated names like Bertha. <gasps> Ooh, it's a silver star. Silver star egg. Nice. All right, let's go forage. It always has but it always has water. Okay, that's good. Because I remember having to water uh, Punico's watering bowl every single day. Wait, I need the hoe. That's my axe. I once met a rat named World Destroyer. A show dog, not a shadow dog. <laughs> a dog named Dookie and it was a tiny brown pug. No, that's so mean. Poor little guy. <laughs> a cow named Big Bertha would be amusing. I think Bertha and like, uh... Doris, I think. What other names are like common for cows? I feel like cows have a very stereotypical set of names that they usually get named. All right. Cold, hello. Thank you for the super. Never forget the four horsemen. War, death, pestilence, and naughty Wilbur. <laughs> Betsy, Daisy. Yeah, those are very stereotypical like cow names. Bessie, Bertha of the Elite Four. <laughs> My cat's name is Pico, as a Pico de Gallo. Oh, more like Pico de Gato. Cute. Bell, Taco Bell. <laughs> I uh, I remember one of my uh, teaching coworkers back in my like teaching days. Uh, he was. Um, 
so I don't know if anyone knows this, but like in middle school, uh, back in Elysium, there's this program called 4-H. Uh, I forgot what the 4-H stand for, right? And then in high school, there's like the FFA, which is like the Future Farmers of America, right? <gasps> A third book? Where are all these books coming from? What the heck? Another book. <laughs> um, and he was telling me a story about how the very first time he like did his full year teaching, uh, he didn't realize he should warn all of his students, do not name your pets or not uh, do not name your animals. Right. And it's kind of like, because he like it was his first year teaching and he's like, oh, yeah, it's totally fine. Like, of course, you can name your animals. Right. And like get a, like emotionally attached to them. And then at the end of the year during the fair, um, the animals got processed is the way that they described it. <laughs> and oh, my God, it was so traumatic for all the students. Um. One of the one of his students actually was raising rabbits, uh, specifically meat rabbits. So when the rabbits got processed, uh, Mr. Snugglesworth uh, left a Mr. Snugglesworth sized hole in the student's heart. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, don't get too attached to farm animals. <laughs> Carnivorous rabbits? No, no, they weren't carnivorous. They were just meat rabbits. Um, like, rabbits raised for meat. But yeah. Uh, lesson learned very quickly. After that year, he never allowed his students to name their animals. <laughs> Especially if it's their first time raising uh, animals for, for processing. You know? Hey, <laughs> Linda Harvey on my grandma's farm. You can never look at chickens the same way before. Yeah. You, you can't. If you're raising them for, uh, like, animal products at the end of their journey, I don't know how, like, I don't know how else to say it nicely. Uh, don't name them. Don't get attached. <laughs> you killed my rabbits and they were delicious. Farm kid here, we grow up fast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, good times, good times. Because he was telling me about like the looks on their faces. Because like I've been to a couple of those uh, like fairs before, but like always as like a guest. You know, like I've never gone there like as as anything. Uh, like I, I was never part of the show or like doing anything there. You know, I always went there for the food and the rides and like the the tri tip sandwiches and all that. But man, <laughs> trauma. Both for the students and for the teacher at the same time. It was amazing. We just cleared out this place. And where did all these rocks come from? Oh my goodness. Farming is a full-time job, chat. You know what? I want to let them grow. I don't want to waste any of my stamina on this. <laughs> yeah. An unforgettable meal. I don't know if any of them actually ate the, the food that they got afterwards. Um, because what they had was, I believe they had like a big track, no, not a tractor, a uh, trailer thing where they would process, um, the animals after they were sold at the auction. So it was like real fresh. It was like right there, you know? Um, I don't know if any one of them actually ended up eating the byproducts afterwards. <laughs> I don't think I could, like, I would need at least a week, you know, just to like, mentally move on from it all before I'd be able to like eat it but even then like it'd probably have to be someone else's because like I couldn't eat mine you know I saw a video of, of this woman who was raising uh pigeons I think and she just like took one of the pigeons eggs and like fried it up and I was like you you can do that you can just get your own pigeon's eggs and fry them up and eat them like that? Like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, more field snacks. Yeah. Okay, put these away. Yeah. Do pigeons make unfertilized eggs? They do. A 
As much as I like meat, I always feel awful about killing animals. Same, same. Like, I understand logically where they come from. And I know, like, I know what it takes to get meat on our plate. The only issue for me is that because I've been... Like, when I was raised, I was exposed to meat in, like, the sterile grocery store packaging. You know, like, I'm not used to seeing animals turning from, like, a living, breathing creature that turning into, like, cuts of meat, right? So I'm not used to it enough to, like, be okay with that. All right, I'm gonna fix the bridge. Yeah. There we go. <gasps> White pen. Oh, a pair of seagulls. Thank you for the super. My cat's OG name is Pippet, Indonesian for finch, but my mom changed to Kunum? Kunum? A term of endearment because Pippet is our village chief's wife. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a a valid reason for changing a name. Absolutely valid reason. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Oh man, wait, can I pick that up? No, it looks like a pebble. Man, yeah, I would be I would feel very weird about going around calling my pet like the village chief's wife's name. That'd be very odd. If it makes you feel better, you could pretend the cow poofs into chunks of beef. Yeah. Wait, who the heck was that? Oh, Elliot going back home. Man, but still, like, I think after I get exposed to it a bit more, um, once I have more experience with it, once I have, like, witnessed it a whole bunch more times, I'll get used to it. But until then, like, I'm still a little bit squeamish. Like, I can't eat things with faces. Or, like, here's the thing. Um, I am okay with, like, eating, like, a pork, like, a pig head. Like, pork, like, I, I forget what it's called. Um, there's a particular type of dish where, like, you braise, like, the head of a pig, right? And then you, like, scrape off, like, the, ch like the cheek meat, the meat of the cheek and the face and everything. Head cheese? I think it's called head cheese, yeah. Um... I'm familiar with that, and I do eat it on its own, but I can't eat it while it's still stuck to the head and resembles a recognizable face, you know? Like, same thing with fish. I cannot eat it if it has a recognizable face. If it's been, like, crushed up or, like, turned into something that's not visibly recognizable as a face, I can eat it. But, like, if it has, like, the whole head, I can't eat it. Are you good with eating fish head? No. I can't eat fish heads. I can't eat shrimp faces. Um, anything that involves like the actual head itself, if I can recognize it as a head, I can't eat it. You can't eat whole steamed fish? I will eat everything except for the head. I'm still a little bit squeamish about the head. <laughs> I needed to try balut. I think, so here's the thing, like I think Balut is okay for me because it's small enough. Like for me, um, anchovies. I think like anchovies is okay because the entire package is bite-sized and I can consume the whole thing in a single go without like, like fighting through the head, you know? Does that make sense? Um, like there's this one snack here in Japan that's like toasted anchovies and almonds right and it's kind of like they have like a little bit of like a honey on top of it. it's like a sweet salty toasted anchovy right it's a whole anchovies and those are okay because like the anchovy itself is very tiny it's small and it's bite-sized right so i can just eat a scoop full, like a handful of it in a single scoop and be okay with that right but if it's a fish like a sizable fish like a whole salmon right that has a whole head on it i cannot eat the head like, that, that's the difference with it. Like, the size of it, you know? It's so good, right? Yeah, the anchovies. It's really nice. The toasted anchovies. It was weird the first time I had whole grilled fish that still had its head. I'll, I will eat the body all around the head. Or all around the body. Except for the head. Like, I'll stop at, like, the, the, the gills on the side. Crispy shrimp head. If it is 
If it is covered in enough batter that I cannot rec- I cannot- wait, 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 let me try that one more time. If it is covered in enough batter that the head is no longer recognizable, I am okay. <laughs> I take it if you eat taiyaki, you eat the head first. Yes, if I eat taiyaki, that's that's okay. Salty mango, thank you for the one year. Thank you, thank you. Should we today I found my lost cat after oh, after six months. His name is Haku. And I want to say thank you because your stream always lit me up when he was gone. Oh, congratulations. That's really lovely. Please give Haku a lot of love. Oh my goodness, six months. That must have been great. Like, that's insane. Oh my goodness. Give Haku lots of love, lots of pets, lots of cuddles. Oh, also Okuri, thank you for being the membership. Man, I could not imagine that. Six months is such a long time. Clyde is hope now. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Ooh, Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. Ooh. More letters. I'm not gonna read Jojo Mart stuff. Eh. Gross. Boo, capitalism, boo. <laughs> I don't want I don't want anything to do with you, Jojo Mart. Ugh. Alright, one, two. <gasps> Wait. Oh shoot, I forgot. I had to close the... I left them out the whole night. Oh no. Oh, but they still gave eggs. Okay. Hooray. <gasps> A gold star egg? Wow. Yo. Oh, looks really happy. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. Wait, chat. It says change home building. Can I have, can I have more than one chicken coop? Can I have more than one chicken coop? Is that true? Is that why there's change home building options there? <gasps> oh my god. You could have more than one? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna fill the entire farm with nothing but chicken coops. This farm wants vegetables? Well, no, you're only gonna get eggs. Nothing but eggs, chat. <laughs> Oops, all eggs. <laughs> Wait, no, we can't do that. We need to leave at least some space in order to, um... We need some space in order to actually grow the crops, grow the grass that we need to feed them. <laughs> Worms! Lots of stones. Ooh, radish. Why does it say it's a leek? It looks like a radish. Okay, look at that chat. Tell me, tell me that that's not, does not look like a radish. Eggs do be expensive these days. Yeah. They are getting pretty pricey. Man. Eggs, wool, feathers can be obtained in the coop. You can have multiple coops and barns. That's why there's very little farm space because you need an abundance of bluegrass for the animals. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Radishes are more colorful. I thought radishes were like this. And then... Like, turnips are red? Come on. Yes! More coral. Let's go. I'll find the give it the seven months. A goody, little late to the party, but so happy to catch a star to come back live. Hope you're enjoying the new farm map and the 1.6 things. Yeah! We haven't really done much. Um, We're trying to, like, build up our farm to the point where it's self-sustaining. So we're kind of, like, rushing for it now. But now that the farm, the mines are open, Gonna be heading inside. <laughs> you need space inside your chicken coop for dinosaur eggs. Di dinosaur eggs? Are there like special big eggs? 
Thank you so much for the super cake, bro. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what do you mean dinosaur eggs? What are dino eggs? I guess right now, um, for me, the thing that I'm looking for is trying to find the balance of how much bluegrass and regular grass, regular hay I need compared to the number of animals. Because right now it's looking like one, one piece of hay per animal. Like each, right? Dino eggs are a spoiler, but Jurassic Park, you're gonna need an electric fence. I see here's the thing that sounds so outlandish I don't know if it's an actual spoiler or if you guys are just messing with me <laughs> I can't tell all right let's go first thing we need to find quartz that's the goal okay we're gonna skip this quartz 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 it, okay that's fine we don't have anything okay quartz Give me, give me quartz, <gasps> a geode. Let's go. Oh. Come on, quartz, quartz. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. Quartz for future wife, exactly. Everything for Abigail. Oh my God. Oh no. Chat, no. <laughs> I feel so weak and helpless. It takes so many hits with this sword to kill the slime. Oh my god. That's the worst part, chat. <sighs> I remember how powerful I was with those weapons. <sighs> no, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Octavio, hello. The gift for the raid. Hello, puppets. Hello. Koinichiwa. Welcome. The gift for the raid. How to just stream. <gasps> gotcha. We got it. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Hello, puppets. Active party. Hello, hello. Koinichiwa. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we can sell the sap. Oh, just throw it away. No, th throw it away. Yeah. Armageddon, re hello. Hello, Davio. How's it going? How was your stream? What did you do? Was it just chatting? Was it one of your octo talks? Oct oct talks? That's really difficult for me to pronounce. I don't know why. But I hope you had a good stream. <gasps> Hardwood. We don't need it yet. I'm going to avoid picking it up. Octotalk. Do they call you an octopus because you have like eight arms? It's like, no, my name is Octavio. But <laughs> Wait, has anyone drawn fan art of Octavio as as Doc Ock? But like instead of arms, it's uh it's like the it's like puppet strings, marionette strings. I don't know if anyone has yet. Okay, let's go. More copper ore. We need to get at least five bars, which means 15. <laughs> oh, come on. I feel so weak. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, okay. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be okay. Hey. Ding. It's 25, not 15. Oh, wait, no, that's right. It's five pieces per. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. We can we, we can rebuild eventually. We'll get to that point. Yes, nine. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Ooh, no, wait, but I don't have enough space. My inventory. Oh god. Uh I'll throw away the slime. No, I'll I said throw away the slime. There we go. Earth crystal. Yeah. 
I'm so happy we got Amethyst first thing. Oh my god. Chad. Uh, confession. I... My... My main mouse is a Logitech G600. It is a very fat and chunky mouse because my hands are pretty large. But it, it's I use it primarily because it has like the numbers on the side. So like I'm super used to having the entire number pad on my thumb that I can access so I can hit numbers 1 through 9. Right? I don't have that here. So it's, it's difficult because like I keep my sword here. I'm like, oh, 7 is easy to hit. I could just use my thumb, but I can't. So sad. I don't want to order a new one, even though I'm going to be here for a couple of months, because that, that's like... Because then I'll just take it back home with me on the flight afterwards, too, and it's just like a lot of hassle. Man. The G502. I, I have a difficulty, to, like, the, was it, uh, the very first time I've used a mouse with those, like, number pads on the side was a Razer Naga, but I, like, I got cramps because of how tiny it was compared to my hand. Very useful, very useful, yeah. Because like after you spend time playing with that, I, I don't know how people could use the number bar on top, you know? How's the update? You're having fun? It's been okay. We haven't really seen too much like update content yet because we just started. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what do I keep? Uh, what do I keep, chat? I want to sell the coral. I need this. I guess I can throw away the stone. Yeah, because I need the coal in order to cook the copper ore. Okay, yeah, I'll give it the stone. I'll give it the stone. Man, we do have plenty of stone though. We'll be okay, we'll be okay. I feel so weak. I feel so weak, Chad. Alright, what time is it? 6.40? Not bad, not bad. Man. Now my struggle is I don't have inventory space. Can always get more stones. Yeah, that's true. Stones are plentiful. Okay, let's get that. Oh no. Ugh. Uh. We. <laughs> Wait, tray bomb. Okay. Uh. Well, let's just set this here. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Also, just want to make sure I pick up uh, the sword before it like despawns. <laughs> Let's go. 20. I just need five more. Just need five more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five more. Whoop, whoop. Oh, this takes forever. Okay. Let's go. Oh, nice. Nice. Four more. Just need four more. Please. Can we do this all in one day? I mean... I don't have enough coal to actually make this worth. I just realized because I only have three, which means I only need to cook three times. Please, like, give me a backpack, backpack or something. Wait, yellow slime? Wait, was it was there something special about the yellow slime? Oh no! <gasps> uh oh, Monte Chimera! Thank you so much for the super. Uh, had a bunny once in college and it was confiscated. I had a wife. It got a wife and kid, but it was uh, but they ate poisonous grass and they all died. I'm not sure if that's bad for the die single here with me or die like that. That's kind of rough. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that. That's really rough. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna do something controversial. I'm gonna throw away the geodes. I'm doing something controversial. I want to throw away the geodes. Okay, throw the bug meat, but I want that. I want the the bug meat steak. Fine, 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 fine. I was hoping to get the bug meat steak, but I don't know if we can actually get enough bug meat for this right now. Wait, thank you for the super. I, that's pretty terrible. 
I think getting poisoned is probably like one of the worst ways to go. Ooh. Leather boots. Boots. Okay. Let's keep going. Wow. Oh my god, there's so much copper. There's so much copper, but we don't have enough coal to cook it now. Oh no. I don't even think we have um, a furnace built yet. You're running out of energy. I am. But that's okay, I'm used to it. It's, it's been like this since, since I hit 25. Just never had energy. You also need 25 ore for the... Oh my god. No. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, wait, isn't this where... Isn't this... Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. I think we have enough. I think we have enough energy for the coal. There should be a cart at the end of this track that has coal. Please. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 18. Oh, yes. Woo. Let's go. We have the coal. All right. Uh, I don't want to risk it because we don't have enough energy. So we're just going to leave. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're going to head back. Um, furnace. We haven't even unlocked the furnace yet. <laughs> No. It's been so long, chat. I forgot what it takes to unlock the furnace. I have no idea. You should unlock it tonight. Okay, okay. Man, you get it tomorrow? Clit needs to visit you. Man. Okay, tomorrow. We have an amethyst. So we're going to go give an amethyst to best girl. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Real quick. Close that door. Let's go. And then before we sleep, gotta sell these. Sell. Uh, is there anything else we need to sell? Should I sell the eggs? Uh, you know what? We're gonna sell the eggs. We're gonna sell the eggs. We don't have the mayo machine yet, and I think money early on will be better for us. So we'll just go sell them for now. time yeah all right check give me just a minute i'm gonna go and boil some water so i can have some more coffee Blech. oh no my back muscles everything is so sore All right, there we go. Okay, it shouldn't be too long. It should uh, boil pretty quickly. Yeah. We know those feels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tomorrow, clear and sunny. And then Fortune says, very happy. Oh, back to the mines we go. We'll also dehumidify the air. True. Oh, Clint. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and fighting ore. That's good. Imagine if that was the entire conversation. I've noticed you've been rock breaking some rocks open. That's good. And just like silently stands there staring the whole time because the second part of the conversation hasn't loaded up, you know? <laughs> Mikuda chan, hello. Thank you for the upgrade. Oh, lady, oh, lady. We're upgrading. You want to get the most out of your ores, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, 
I want you to have them. <gasps> there we go. Learned how to craft furnace. Thank you. Allows you to smelt metal bars, and the bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It'll make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. And. Alright. Copper. Oh my god. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, that's right. It costs copper ore to build the. Oh my god. I was like, we have enough. Oh, are you serious. Man. Man. Ah. Oh. Okay, we, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Do I have enough coal? I do have coal, okay. Man. Darn it. <laughs> I thought we had everything we needed to go. I thought it was gonna be like wood and stone, but I forgot that was copper ore. 22. Or 20 at that. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You got an adventurous spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventure skill. Be careful. Alright. First things first. Chickens. Wait. Two. Yeah, it's a good luck day, so we'll do that quickly next day. No chickens. Oh. I hear chickens are really warm, and if you pick them up, they just kind of like sit there in your lap, eat the egg. No, ooh. And then you can like feel their warmth coming through their bodies. I want to pick up a chicken. I just want to hold a chicken. Like, that's what I want to do. I don't want to, like, do anything with a chicken. I just want to hold it. Alright, let's go sell these eggs. Warm. Yeah. Chickens, ducks are warm. Uh, quails are a little colder. And... What's the other one? That's, like, another commonly, like, picked up bird. Pigeons, I think? Yeah, they're like perfectly scoop side. Or scoop so not scoop size, not scoop size, scoop shaped. So it's like the you know, you go up to them and you like scoop a goose? I don't know if many people pick up gooses. I think gooses attack people or geese. <laughs> Oh shoot! Wait, no, chat, we've been- oh no, uh... I just realized we don't have clay. We still don't have clay. We need to find more clay. Can you hear, like, the kettle going on in the background? Oh, hi there. Hey, we're gonna skip this, because we've seen these- we've seen these, uh, cutscenes already. Can find clay in the mines, too? I always leave the door open for Stardew's chicken because I feel they need the air. Oh. Try the patches of dirt in mine. Just like random patches of dirt in the mine? Because I've been keeping my eyes out looking for mostly like the little. Got a gift to Abigail. Oh, that's right. We can't. Wait, hold up. Is it. We forgot to bring it with us, but by the time we go back and pick up the amethyst and then get it back to the town, it should be. Like, Abigail time. Yeah. Where's Abigail located? I think she's at the store? Patches of dirt in the mines are discolored and grouped. Oh, okay, okay. If you're farming normal, you'd have all the clay by now. No. He has turnip. Okay, uh... Mm, we only have three hay. That's not good. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's a parsnip, not a turnip. Okay. Uh, amethyst. Wait, hold up. I don't need the axe. 
Okay, these two, and then Field Snacks. No, wait. Oh no, Indecisive Spring Onion too. Alright. Come on, Abigail. Wait, that's a cat. You do that for cats, not Abigail. Uh, what do minerals sound like? Sword? Oh no! <laughs> have you even said hi to her yet? No, we haven't said hi to Abigail. We're just gonna show up and be like, here, eat this. <laughs> oh my god. I only have enough for one more day, and I don't know how long it takes to turn fiber into hay. Oh, wait, hold up, chat. Peeps, Maggie, thank you for the super. Glad to be back tonight after many months. May I have your blessing to attempt making a crochet koi panion? This will be the first pattern I make. Oh, ooh, good luck, good luck. I bless you with a uh, moe moe koi. Good luck making your crochet koi panion. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. Thank you for the super. Okay, chat, give me just a minute. I think the water is finished boiling, so I'm gonna go make some coffee real quick. So like the thing doesn't turn off on its own because it's a very old kettle. <laughs> It's a very old kettle, so like it doesn't turn off on its own, which is why I have to like just take it off manually, which like I don't really mind too much. There we go. Kettle on the stovetop? No, it's an electric one. How old? I think it's like a couple of years old. That's a good core. Nice. Alright, let's put that away. <sighs> Alright, so the water like just finished boiling, so it's too hot to drink right now, so I'll let it let it just kind of chill for a little bit. I've been hearing like a lot of coffee people say things like, oh, instant coffee is great, but you like, you shouldn't burn it by pouring hot water into it. I'm like, what? Can you really burn instant coffee granules by pouring too hot a coffee in there? <gasps> Abigail! Eat this. <laughs> I love Abigail. <laughs> the very first time we ever interacted. It's just, here, consume. Thank you, this is my favorite stone. It's so pretty. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the apple farm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> First time talking ever. She, she just took it before even realizing it's us that moved in, you know? No hesitation. It's kind of a shame, really. I really enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. <gasps> no! Wait! What? No, is she gonna have resentment for like me moving into the into the fields? No! Oh, that's all we can do though. <laughs> Man. I <laughs> just have a walk out your first meeting, right? Sunday there, thank you, thank you for the super. Nice, nice Sunday farming. Nice Sunday morning breakfast. Watching should be playing comfy farm game. Yeah. Did, did that? I wait. Does it, is that does the first gift not do anything? How many gifts do you need to get to get one heart? I forget. Nothing. Nothing though. But we do have. We can give one more gift. Doesn't go right. It doesn't go up right away. Ah, uh, she's a woman with priorities. I love her. <laughs> if it's great, thank you for the super. Takes time. Okay, okay. That's fine though. We have two amethysts. 
back home. So we're going to go grab the other amethyst and feed that to her too. Wait, is it... Does it make sense to give her two amethysts in a row? Or should I wait for the ameth... Like, should I wait until next week to give her the amethyst? And then give her the quartz instead? You can get more if it's on her birthday. I don't... I don't know when her birthday is. <gasps> Ooh, leak. Let's go. She doesn't care that much. One gift per day is better. Give her one per day. Oh, like just like just just max it out regardless of like the two per week thing. Okay, okay, got that, got it. All right, let's go back to <gasps> what is Diglett thing? Oh, wait! Oh my god! Oh, you're so fast! I feel so weak. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we can get both of them. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, wait, there's more? Okay, we're good. Yeah. Love gives some give loved gifts give more points. Oh, so should I just be focusing on giving her like the, the amethyst instead of like mixing it up? By the way, that's dirt. Oh here? This is dirt? <gasps> that's right. It, it it does it does look like dirt. Sorry, chat. I, I like it's been a while since I've seen dirt because here in Tokyo there's no dirt. Oh my god, bugs. Wee. No. Oh my god, why there two? <laughs> I'm so weak. No. <laughs> god, they're just like mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes so much. Ooh, nice. Okay, this is the dirt, right? So like, will I find clay here? Oh, I do find clay here. Oh my god. Or I wonder if it's like RNG again. Oh, it's dirt, but like in these specific areas. Okay, okay. Ah. Like right here, right here. No? Who is that? Are they all? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that was really cute. I don't know what was going on there, but that was really cute. Oh my god. Why is there so much happening right now? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You've got to be. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. What the heck? Okay, wait, uh... There we go, there we go, there we go. Group them together, group them together from the same direction. Whew. We survived. <laughs> Alright, wait, don't eat the cave carrot, eat the spring onions. Yeah. This is too much. This is way too much happening so quickly. All right. Okay. More dirt, more clay, please. I like how the slimes, after they just had fun with, oh no, they're still angry. Oh no, wait, no. I thought they were, I thought they were chill. I thought they were chill. I thought they were doing their own thing. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I thought the slimes were chill. Why are they where were they so angry? <laughs> no. God, I hate this. The struggles of the early stages of Stardew Valley, right? Oh my god. Ooh, whoa. There we go. <gasps> One more bug meat and we can make bug meat steak. You have to kill them for the guild card. Okay, that's true. I do have to kill them eventually. You embarrass them. I was watching them doing the the dirty. Okay, how much do I have? Six. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. 
<laughs> early game as well. I think the big thing about early game is that like you know how easy it was when you had made progress in the game and then comparing that to a fresh file is so much more different. You know? Okay. There's gotta be an easier way to farm clay. Like, there's gotta be. Carrots. More carrots. What's with all these carrots in the dirt? <gasps> clay. Okay, we have two pieces. We now have a total of seven clay, I think. Man. There's a lot of carrots here, though. Where did... What the heck? <laughs> There's all these carrots growing me from. <gasps> More clay. Good, 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 good. Let's go. I think it's easier to upgrade your hoe. I don't think we have enough copper uh, bars to do that yet. I think after we take it home and we cook the rest of the copper, we'll have enough. But the first thing right now is just trying to make sure we get enough clay so that we can get our silo up. I kind of feel bad for folks who may have started the meadow. Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe this will give me that last piece of bug meat for the steak. Wait. Come on. There we go. Nice. I... You don't have the recipe yet. <laughs> That's right. We have not unlocked the recipe yet. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay. We have field snacks for a reason. We have field snacks for a reason. Come on. Okay, wait. Come on, come on, get... Give me your... Give me the meat. Nice. More cave carrots. I know we need to save at least one cave carrot. Ooh. There we go. Now we have five. Five total clay. Early game got hands, it really does. <laughs> okay, I think we've gotten everything here, so let's proceed down. Are you just hoeing for dirt? Yeah, because we need to get at least 10 clay uh, in order to build our silo. In order to get the- Are you serious? Where do you guys keep coming from? Oh my god. Please, please, stop. <laughs> no. There we go. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, we'll throw away the sap. Okay, I can eat the white algae. Yeah. Bugs find you attractive today. Yeah. Let's see one of those days, you know? Ooh. Wait. Let's go all the way down here. See if the cart has any coal. Is it empty? Yeah, it's empty. I hear the bug. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. I think after this, we might have leveled up combat enough that we can get our bug meat. Uh, bug meat steak for tomorrow. Come on, Clay. Come on, Clay. No Clay? Just need five more Clay. <gasps> Four more Clay. Please. Please, my chickens will go hungry. Yeah. You guys are right, chat. Saving these field snacks for the caves is a better idea than just eating them for the... Oh, that's a lot of dirt. Okay. It's, it's gonna take a while, though. Oh, are you serious? Where are all these bugs coming from? <laughs> I hear it. There it is. There it is. The thing is, I do so little damage, it takes up precious time to kill these bugs. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. We're running low on energy, so we're going to eat the field snacks. You know what? We're just going to eat both of them. That way it'll open up an inventory space if we need that. Jimmy needs to go home. No! I can stay out until 1am. I have like... I have like an hour. 
ish. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> come on. There's two more. Just a bit more, just a bit more. Where's all these books coming from? Oh my god. Please, please. One. Wait, wait, wait. I think we got it. I think we got it. <gasps> we have one clay back home. We have one clay back home. Let's go. We lost the book of device. This is now the fourth book we have found while digging around. And I don't know who, how, where, or why people keep losing their books here. <laughs> oh no. Run, 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 run. I hope I don't get stuck. I hope I don't get stuck. I see that. I'm not going to waste time on it. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Chicken coop. Chickens are inside. That's fine, right? Okay, quick, quick, quick. Close the door. Get inside. <gasps> yeah. Nice. With only 20 minutes to spare. Hole proficiency. Scarecrow. Basic fertilizer. We still don't have... Oh, there we go. Bug steak. Coffee's still too hot. Oh, so the eggs are 50 gold each, regardless of what color they are. All right. Day seven. We can finally go get the silo. <laughs> All right. Oh, queen of sauce. What sauce do we have today? Stir fry. Nice. We don't have the kitchen though. Not yet. Okay, fortune teller says... Somewhat annoyed, luck will not be on your side. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's go get our food. Uh, water can. There we go. <gasps> Lucifer Spin, hello. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Can I get some hearts in chat for the gifted memberships? Thank you. Oh. Wait, don't eat the egg. Huh? Wait, did they not eat the other one? Oh, cute. Why didn't they... Interesting. I thought they would eat all the... the hay that they got. Huh. Oh, they must have eaten the grass outside. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Alright. That makes sense. Okay. Organize. Let's sell that. Uh, sell, 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 and cook. Cook. All right. Sell, 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 sell. Yeah. Wait, can I plant tall grass? Can I just like in like plant tall grass to make them grow? Just eat the ones outside. Hmm. Yes? Wait. You need a recipe. You buy grass from the store. You can plant grass by gotta buy from Pierre. Oh, okay. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Amethyst. Do we have enough money for... No, we don't have enough money to upgrade our weapons. Or, like, any of our tools yet. Because we think we need 5,000 gold for that, so... We'll just finish cooking this, and then just be... Good to go. Grass starter using fiber. You can make the forageables into spring seeds and sell the seeds. More money that way. Wait, you can sell the seeds? Yeah, it's 1k for the silo. No, it's 100 for the silo, isn't it? The silo is pretty cheap. Relatively, I think. Uh, Amethyst for Abigail. I have to bring... 10 clay... Oh, wait, we're a little bit short on stone. We're a little bit short on stone. So let me go put that away. Let me go get that first real quick. How much is the bag? 10,000, if I remember correctly. We cannot afford that for a while. <laughs> it's going to be a long time, chat. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Hmm... 
much are chickens? If we just focus on chickens, so we have 100 gold every single day. Just consistently. That's 3,000 per season. Doji, thank you for the 13 months. Okwedi, okwedi. Before we update the membership, welcome back. Yeah, five bars for the uh, tool upgrades. Man. Why is everything gotta cost money? <laughs> Alright, let's head inside the mines. We need 15 more stone, so it's not too much. I'm just gonna like blitz that up real quick. Yeah. And then hopefully Robin builds the silo real quick. I know the house upgrade takes a while. Uh, it takes a couple of days. But I wonder how long it takes for the silo to be built. Is it one day? Okay. Well, that's right. The spirits are a little bit annoyed, so it's gonna be a little hard to find. A little hard to find this. Oh, yeah. I don't want to deal with those. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got enough. Let's go. Leave the mine. I want to say three days for the silo. Ooh, that's... I'm going to hope the grass grows enough that we don't starve our chickens, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Hi, Robin. Construct farm buildings. I need the silo. Co Wait, we did need the copper bars. Oh, my God. That's right. I t <sighs> Why was my brain set on copper bars for upgrades? I forgot to bring them. Darn it. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, we don't need to bring the copper bars. I'm not going to upgrade my pickaxe for a while. But I completely forgot I need them for the silo too. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Your chickens won't start to death, they'll be miserable is all. God, same. Okay, there we go. You know what? All things considered, I think we're, we're doing pretty well. All things considered, I think we're doing pretty well. It's only the seventh day and we're ready to get a silo. Did you ever play the game before 1.6? I did, but we only made it to like halfway through summer before I had to stop because I got really busy. But... I think we're doing great. I think we're doing good. But yeah, we may I'm making a new playlist of this because uh we're doing a new uh a new file starting with 1.6 content. Same. Let's go. Oh, it tells it tells you right there two days. Bill. Paint? Oh, wait. No, I don't want to paint. Not that. Uh build. Oh. Okay, I don't want to put the silo inside the chicken coop, right? Uh. Uh. If I knew that this stuff was going to get in the way, I would have cleared out the area a bit more. Um. You can go anywhere. Well, the thing is, I don't want it to go inside the chicken coop because you can see like the grass starting to grow here. This takes up nine spots where grass might be able to respawn. So if I could like leave it here, that'd be nice. I'll put it right there. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> All right. Uh, we only need one silo, right? You can relo relocate later for free. Oh, redistribute it to any coop or barn. Wait, does it, is it automatic? You need to buy grass starter. Okay, we're gonna be heading over to Pierre's to uh to feed Abigail once more. So we'll be there. We'll look for how much the uh grass feed costs. Hello, Abigail. Where are you? Oh, there you are. No, the door. Darn it. 
I'll ambush her on the way out. Okay. Parsnip, bean starter, potato, kale, grass starter. There we go. Grass starter recipe. Oh! Place this on your farm to start a new patch. Wait. We can afford it, and we're gonna have to use it anyway, right? So. Oh. Oh. Okay, so. Absolutely get the grass starter because I need this to make my own grass. Makes the farm animals happier than hay, too. Oh. Okay. And then with the remainder, we're gonna get the grass starters. Look at that. So now we have the recipe to make our own as well as a couple ready to go um, because we're we're running pretty low on it. You can put the fences on top of the grass so it'll spread and the animals won't eat the ones below the fence. Oh! That's kind of cool. Shinri, if you want to meet someone new, check the forest. But I don't want to meet anyone new. I want to meet Abigail. <laughs> Can you actually put it under the gra under the fence? Wait, do I have to put it inside the thing? Inside here? Like... Oh... Oh... Okay, Oh. Wait, that's really cute! That's really cute. There we go. Instant grass. Okay. God, it's so cute. Wait, so is the trick to get grass starter? Plant the grass starter and then move the chicken coop on top of it? Oh, cute. Like, because I it wouldn't let me put the grass starter on the fence right now. So, is it one of those things where you have to kind of like glitch it the other way around? Basically, yes. Ah. Okay, okay. Let's go clear out some of this stuff here. More fiber. Take the fence off and put it on the grass. Okay, okay. So, grass in the ground first and then fence on top of it. Or make a new fence? Oh, you can just put your own fences on top. Oh, that's what you guys were saying. Gate. No, that's a... That's a gate fence. So if I go here... And then I do that. Did I do it right? I don't know if I did it right. Uh, let's try it one more time. So like... Did I do it right? Do I fence it in? Fence on the grass. What? It, it's... Gotta put the fence down first and then the grass. Wait. Hold up, hold up. Wait. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not like an expert at this, like, these, uh... Stardew, Stardew strats. Okay, uh, let's try it one more time. Get a wood fence. So, fence first, and then grass? So... Fence. I can't put the grass on there now. They fixed it? Oh, okay. Wait, how do I get rid of the random fences now? Do I just chop them down? <laughs> no. <gasps> Wait, oh my god, it's almost five. It is five. No, we forgot to give Abigail. Wait, no, Abigail, please. Abigail, please. Yeah, the time flew by so quickly. <laughs> no. Abigail, I have your dinner. It was going to be your lunch, but I, I couldn't get to you in time. So here's your dinner instead. Abigail, please. No. 
Wait, where is she? Where is she? Oh no, she's not here. Wait, it's the be wait. Sunday's the beginning of the week. I thought it was. I thought it was Monday. Is Monday the beginning of the week or Sunday? No, we should have given her. Ah, oh, darn. No. Ah, uh, I thought we could have maxed out the the first two of the weeks. The uh, the first two like gifts of the week. Darn it. Man. Okay. Monday for forage. Sunday is for gifts, though. Darn. Better luck tomorrow. Yeah, at least we have the next week to give her. The, the rest, like the six more days to go for it. Okay. Um, in that case, let's go clear out the fences here that we have. Oh, very convenient. Just takes one whack. Nice. All right. Uh, I might as well just go plant all these here then. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about feeding our chickens for a good while. And hopefully that'll be enough for the silo to finish grow uh, not growing. <laughs> That'd be hopefully enough for the silo to finish being built. Silos get built, they don't grow. Oh my god, chat. Let's go. Okay, X. Chop, chop, chop. We need to get our iron X, I think, in order to break down the big stumps, right? You'll need to feed them on rainy days. Okay, I think we still have enough for like one emergency rainy day. But we need to get hay as soon as possible. So hopefully. Oh, come on. I wonder like what the proper way to organize the chicken coops are. Like space? Okay, let's put these away. Put all that away. Hold on to the amethyst. Next time, don't cut down the grass. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. I'm so sad. All right, let's go chop all these down. Chop, chop. I want to clear enough space here to put another coop right down here. So that's easy to kind of get to back and forth between them all. Ooh. Yeah. When in doubt, you could pull out graphing paper. <laughs> I'm sure there are some people out there who've like created um, like Stardew Valley map layout tools, where if you like, when you want to perfectly min-max your the exact layout of your uh, of your little farm, there's gotta be right. There has to be. I know there's someone out there who's like, like completely efficient. They're like speed running exactly everything that you need to do in Stardew from like the moment you start. I'm always impressed about this build. Like I also enjoy min-maxing, but not to that extent. Oh, that's right. I hit the tree when it was a sapling a couple of times earlier. That's why I knocked down in a single hit. Ah, okay, okay. I was like, why did that fall down so quickly? on the wiki spreadsheet screenshots optimal pathing RNG. <laughs> I wish I could do that but no I don't have the patience for it not anymore a long time ago I used to but now I'm just like as long as it feels good you know the biggest coop upgrade hold 12 animals is are the upgrades like does the coop itself grow in size or does it stay like the same area, like the same volume of space, I guess? Not the outside. Oh, the coop also gets bigger. Same footprint, but the inside gets bigger. Oh, that's so convenient though. Oh, of course. I was like, we have just enough hay to survive one rainy day. And of course today it decides to be rainy. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Tomorrow, light breeze, lots of pollen. Wait. Wait. 
Chat, remind me, what happens on Pollen Days? I forgot what happens on Pollen Days. Something special happens on Pollen Days, right? What was it? Ooh, potato. Nothing? Question mark. Wait, no, wasn't there... <laughs> wasn't there something that's supposed to happen on, on Pollen Days? Am I just going... Am I just going mad? <laughs> I thought something happened on Pollen Days. Wait, they're already watered. That's right, it's raining. I don't have to water it. It's already raining. Okay. Pretty leaves. Something, I thought... Yeah, we have exactly enough hay to survive one rainy day. Hi, Robin. Under construction. I could have sworn there was something that happened on Pollen Days. You're thinking of Slime Rancher. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. Yeah, during Slime Rancher, Pollen Days is a thing. That's right. It, that's not the case in Stardew. Darn it. Yeah, Pollen in Slime Rancher is Tangle Slimes. Tangle Slimes appear in Pollen Days. That's a different game altogether. Chad, I can't. There's too many farming and ranching games, right? They're, they're crossing over my brain. <laughs> oh, no. Chad, the streams are crossing. Okay, let's get some of that wood. Man. My brain can't handle it. There's too many of these games. Yeah. I love the popping sound. It's so satisfying. There's another farming game that I was told. Um, this one was actually mentioned by uh, Manachan. Manachan was all like, hey, there's a game kind of like Star Juice that you're having so fun, much fun with it. Um, it's called Graveyard Keeper, I think. And in that one, you're just the keeper of a graveyard, and you like you're like raising a farm, but it's a graveyard of dead people. There's so many games like this, Chad. There's so many farming games. I can't. I also kind of want to get back into playing Subnautica too, because I know Subnautica Below Zero also has some of that like farming elements to it, like the same one where you could like grow plants and like harvest materials and stuff. There's too many. There's too many, Chad. There's also that new one that came out. Um, Lightyear... Lightyear Frontier? I think? It's the one that we, we're like farmers, but you have a mech on an alien planet and stuff. Like, oh gosh, there's so many farming games. I want to play them all, chat. I want to play them all. There's too many farming games, not enough time. <laughs> Wait, why am I going inside? Uh, let me head over here to scoop up uh, acorns, maple seeds, and pine cones so that we can make field snacks. Yeah. Okay, put those away. Carrot cave. Cave carrot. What? Didn't... Didn't we need cave carrots for something? I forgot what it was, but I thought we, we I thought we needed something. Coral Island. Oh, that that's too. Yeah, that one too. My time at Sandrock. There's a lot. There's so many. There's so many. Uh. No, we gotta go. Abigail. Number one. Abigail, number two, forage for coral and clams at the beach. And then money. We gotta get money somehow, because we need 5,000 gold in order to upgrade our tool. And we need 10,000 for the backpack. Oh gosh, it's gonna, so much, it's gonna cost so much money. And then the mines, yeah. And then whatever time we have left over, we can hit the mines. Oh, forage, forage. Oh, that's right, the community center as well. Terraria is more fun, but combat focused. Yeah, I've seen some of the crazy stuff in Terraria. Okay. Got oyster, clam, any coral? Coral or urchins, please? Anything here? Some coral. Okay. Two coral. <gasps> coral and urchins. Let's go. 
Ooh, gold star. Oh, and a clam. Oh my god. Look at that, Chad. Look at that. Yeah, we need a lot of money. I think... Hmm. I think it would be more prudent for us to get the backpack first. Because even if I upgrade my... if I Even if I spend 5,000 gold to upgrade the tools, we're going to end up with the problem of not having enough inventory space because the tool will be so much more efficient. So I think... Our focus should be the backpack, and then we got to get the tools afterwards. Ah, oh, I was going to clear out some of the grass here, but I, I don't have enough of the toy space. We A type. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's already noon. It's already noon. Oh my goodness. Uh, can you catch a coin in this game? I don't think so. I haven't seen one. Where? Okay. Sell, 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 and sell. All right. First backpack is only 2k. I thought it was 10k, wasn't it? Stardew is... Stardew does that to you? Yeah. Bluegrass. Bluegrass, okay, I, I think bluegrass is pretty like impressive and rare, but we're picking the Meadowland farm to begin with, so it's it, it comes the bluegrass comes with the farm naturally, so it's not like too special. <gasps> Abigail. This is my favorite stone, it's so pretty. Valley looks more interesting than rain, don't you think? Yes! Yes. I love the rain! Chat, did you guys see the video that I put out yesterday? Like, oh my god, it was so nice just walking around Dotonbori in the rain. Yeah, like, oh my god. I love Abigail. I love Abigail. Oh my god. <laughs> yesterday, but it was today for me. That's right, it was like early in the morning, I think. It was like, I uploaded it at like midnight my time. Did you ever get your umbrella back? No, I didn't. But that was okay because it was a like a fairly cheapish umbrella. <laughs> the dedication to move the umbrella, it took me forever to try to motion track it because I didn't know how to do it like. Like I I I wish there was a way to like click a point on the video and then just move move it with a mouse, just manually along where it goes, and then like clear it clean it up later but like just generally like stick it to the hand and then like follow it with the mouse but there isn't a way to do that so you gotta like manually move the umbrella around so that took a long long time okay wait how much is this oh it's only 2,000 it's only 2,000 it's only 2,000 DaVinci Resolve can automatically track something with a few clicks. I didn't know you could do that. So I did it manually. And it took me like two hours. Like one and a half hours, two hours. Um, and I was going to have it like at the end, I was going to have it just fall down to the ground and drop. And I was like, no. I couldn't figure out how to get the thing to twist and turn. So I just... <laughs> so I just had to go straight up into the air. Because I was like, I, I'm too tired. I can't do this anymore. Zion, hello. Bakaneko, thank you so much. Thank you for re up the membership. Thank you for the four months. Okoidi, okoidi. Get the chance to do something similar. Take my time to clean a walking stick. Right, but like, it's just so much work. I know there's an easier way to do it, but I am not a video editor, so... I just kind of brute forced it. Maybe I'll take the time to actually learn because I've been trying to make myself learn um, Clip Studio Paint, CSP. I've been trying to get myself to learn that um, because I realized the subscription for Adobe Photoshop was unsustainable for me. So I've switched over to CSP, but I have no idea how to use CSP because my my muscle memory and my hotkeys are all set to Adobe Photoshop. So I've been trying to teach myself how to do that uh, again, but it's been it's been a challenge chat. Ooh. 
more things. Nice. But we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> geode. There's one thing that I didn't want to- Oh shoot, wait, no, I don't have my sword. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot my sword. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> wait, no, 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 no. I forgot my sword. Oops. Ah. Uh. I switched to crit after using Photoshop in school. I wanted to use Krita, but I feel um, I read some reviews and it turns out that Krita is more of an illustration program than it is an editing program. Um, and I needed the editing aspects of CSP2 because like that's what I use for my thumbnails. Um, because I don't like I don't draw draw. Um, like I don't really draw anything. I I use it mostly for like photo editing and cropping and clipping and like uh just like the effects for the thumbnails so yeah hi shimmy hope you have fun with the updates it's been a lot of fun it's been so much fun so far we have not really seen anything that's new content yet <laughs> to be completely fair we haven't seen anything that's new content mostly just the farm itself but no it's been it's been good so far Okay, let's see. What can we sell from here? Uh, we can sell the leeks. We can sell the sap. We don't really need the sap right now. Um, potato. Sell the eggs. I'm going to feed these to Abigail. Donate this. Donate that. Um, I guess we'll sell these too. Should we sell the kid carrots? Should sell all of these. I'm gonna sell the sap and because we don't need the sap at the moment. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Could have been like raster traditional animation app. Editing is limited. Yeah, that's the big reason why I decided to go with the CSP instead. Mostly because it gives you that editing powers. Alright. Um What do we need? I need more. Pine cones, maple seeds, acorns, acorns. I need acorns. Is this an acorn tree? I forget if this is an acorn tree. A sword. I was thinking about it, but it's already 6 p.m. We're not going to get too far in the mines anyway. No, this is a maple tree. Where's an acorn tree? What does an acorn tree look like? Is this an acorn tree? I think it's this one. I'm watching with the glasses and I thought the cursor was a bug I will smack my phone. Oh no! <laughs> Please be careful. There we go. Only one acorn. Darn. Mm, that's okay. Alright, let's see. We'll sell more of the sap. So for... Um, to make hay, it's just fiber, right? Like, it's just this? Or does it do something special? Did I pet my chickens today? Trying to sleep. Oh, they're trying to sleep. Okay, never mind. Hay is grass. Okay, okay. I guess we'll find out uh, tomorrow when it's finished building. All right. Just had to check the weather. Please, no more rain tomorrow. Partially cloudy with light breeze and lots of pollen. Okay, not bad, not bad. <sighs> oh my god, look at that! Okay, it, most of it come from the sap and the leaks. But you know what? That's okay, that's okay. But I think we can now afford the backpack. We should have enough, right? Or are we like 200 short? No! <laughs> We're like 40 short. <gasps> Wait! Quest coming in clutch. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. 
Hello, chickens. Oh. Yeah. Eat the, no, don't eat the egg. Let's go. Okay. Backpack time. Backpack time. Let's go. Okay. Eggs away. Uh, watering can here. Oops. There we go. All right. Put this away. And... Uh, Topaz. We're gonna give Topaz to Abigail. Yeah. Now you chop the grass in the random fields on your farm. Oh, and then it turns into... From there it turns into... Okay. okay. Let me go... Uh, first, forage at the beach. And then by then, Pierre should open. So we'll go forage at the beach. Go to Pierre's. Pick up the backpack. Feed Abigail. And then... I I, re I just realized it's so it's it's weird to say feed Abigail because everyone else you gift them stuff. It's specifically only Abigail who eats the gift that you give her. So <laughs> it sounds really weird. <laughs> like what verb? It's like oh you gift them they're like the most liked gifts and stuff, right? But no, for Abigail you just feed her. Right, forage clam. There we go. It's so pretty. Chat, you know that picture of the uh, cherry blossom tree that Haka tweeted out last night? <laughs> I uh, the reason why Haka took the photo the way that he did was because there were like hundreds of people swarming that one tree. And you want to know the reason why? Because it was literally the only cherry blossom tree in bloom in the entire area. That was the only cherry blossom. There were like dozens of other trees, right? But none of them bloomed. It was just that one single tree that was blooming, right? So every single, it was on Saturday, right? So every single person was swarming that one tree trying to take a picture of it. <laughs> it was just that one. And like, people have been talking about it. It was like, it's been like cherry blossom season for like about a week or two. And it, close on Wednesdays, but it's Tuesday. But it's Tuesday. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> But yeah. Okay. Uh, Topaz Minerals. This should be good, right? Alright, let's go buy that pack. Yeah. You got the large pack. Alright. Topaz. Come here, Abigail. Come here, Abigail. I give you mineral. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Why is she like this? <laughs> Let's go! Ah, I'm in a good mood right now. No! Oh no, okay, fine, fine. My bad. She just eats it and then is like, ah. Man. She eats it? Yeah. Abigail eats the uh eats the minerals that you give her. <laughs> no. But it's okay, one heart. One heart, at the very least. I thought they changed the lines about eating box, but that's unchanged. Yeah. I think she keeps the amethysts, but then she eats the other minerals. Play it cool. Yeah, don't bother me, I'm munching on rocks. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Alright. Let's sell this, sell that, sell this, and that. And now that we have the silo, this is not what we meant by needing more minerals in your diet of the game. <laughs> they give it the super hippie prey. Okay, let's see. If we do this. Oh! Oh! So that's. Oh! It automatically teleports from the field into the silo. Okay. Maybe she leaves the amethyst for dessert. Wait, that's actually really cute though. I do that too. Whenever I eat a food, right? Okay, chat, this is is this is this weird? Does anyone else do this? But like, 
whenever I eat food, right, I will see like the perfect bite of the food, right? And I'll leave that one alone. I won't touch it, you know? And what I'll do is I'll eat around that bite of food. Like what kind of food? Like, like curry, right? Because I had curry yesterday, right? There's like a perfect area where like there's just the right amount of curry and the right amount of rice and then just the perfect size of like the meat portion, right? And I'll eat around it. Wait, the silo can fill up? Uh-oh. How fast does it fill up? <laughs> right? I usually save the same save strawberry for the last. Oh yeah, I gotta save the right one. But what if it's cold? <laughs> if it gets cold? I eat pretty fast. Ah, there's plenty of space. I eat pretty fast, so like I don't have to usually worry about food getting cold. But like that's what I do. I just eat around the perfect like morsel, you know? Okay, we can clear out the whole place then. Ooh. But that's what I like to do. So maybe that's like Abigail, you know? Like as she's munching on a geode, she like finds that one piece with like the this like the right amount of Amethyst minerals and gems, and she's like, okay, last this is the last part. The last bite that we'll have. Oh my god, I love her so much. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think we should bet about 130. Because I have 83 hay pieces, and there was about 40 already in there. Hundred and twenty-four? Okay, we're about halfway there. We can craft the entire place then. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna be honest. I <laughs> I thought that we would consume a lot more hay than we actually have, but I realize now that we're we've got plenty of hay now. Um Hmm. How do I get more chickens now? I saved the crispiest bit of chicken skin for the last two. I saved some dim sum and other treats with any treats or sweet filling. Yeah! Time for more treats, yes. Or more chickens, I mean. But now here's the thing. Um, I have to find a balance between... between how much hay I can harvest and how much the grass regrows. Because I don't know how fast the blue grass grows back on this farm. Hmm. I wonder, wait, can you make grass grow faster with like fertilizer? Because maybe we can like compress a small section of the farm dedicated just for growing grass. Maybe? Marnie has more chicken. Oh, wait, Marnie's to the south of our, our farm, right? Let me break these real quick. Uh, we only have 60 gold, but at the very least we can go ask and see how, uh, how much it costs to buy a chicken. <laughs> if you leave one grass, it should expand. Oh, <gasps> wait, so if I take a single piece of grass... Okay, so the, my plan right now, harvest everything, and then use the fiber to turn it into grass starters. And then using the grass starters kind of like space them around the farm so there's enough area around the grass starters to grow their own patch of grass again. Right? That's how I'm thinking. Hi, Jazz. Wait, where's Marnie? Is Marnie not here? Oh no, Marnie, no. Close for the day. No! <laughs> no! When do you open? Darn it. Okay. <laughs> now the fun part, waiting for Marnie to actually do her job. I want to grow a field of bluegrass from animals. Looks so pretty. It does look pretty. It does. She's at Zumba. <laughs> Going out and doing oh, it's so cute. My favorite thing I saw a picture or not in a picture. Um, I saw a video. I think it was a farm dog, 
who was running around in a field of wheat and like every now and then it was trying to like jump up and down to like see where the owner was and you could see where the dog was running because like the wheat would like part ways as a dog ran through it oh my god it was so cute okay we maximize the hay now here's my question how do i take the hay out of this and put it inside the coop is it automatic oh that's convenient um oh oh that's nice just right click it right click doesn't seem to do anything for me right now do i have to use a tool Oh, I don't think it lets me pull out any more hay because all the feeding slots are full right now. Is that why? Yeah, right clicking doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, okay. So it makes sure that you don't accidentally pull out too much hay. Pull more than you need. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, sorry chat, my nose is stuffy today. Actually, it's, I think it's stuffy every single day. <laughs> All right, let's clear this. And then it's almost 7 p.m. So I don't think we have enough time to go into the mine. So we'll just stay here and just chill out by chopping some of the trees. Is that one cherry blossom tree? Yeah, it's all that pollen. It's the changing of the weather, chat. Also, this cave right here to the side that's like right above my head. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's the cave where the mushrooms will go on this farm when we change it out. Let's go. Scoop more of that stuff up. Yeah. Nice. Really? Okay, so hmm, next stream, we're going to figure out exactly how much a chicken costs. And then I think the chicken coop that we have can support four chickens total because I saw four slots for the uh, for hay. Which means we also need to... Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's just a shadow. Okay. <laughs> It was really big that scared me. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Sorry, it, it, it was coming down from the top and it looked like it was coming straight for me. So I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, scoop all that. I think we have enough energy for one more tree and then should be good. It's just Haka. I tend to do fruit bed cave because I usually get shrooms here for community center easily. Oh. I think you can. I think it's. I think we can take it down like halfway. I don't think I've been that lucky with the uh, mushroom rooms inside the cave yet. I've only seen them like once or twice. All right. Let's go. I think this is a good point to stop, however, because it is, it is time for lunch for me. Okay, tomorrow is more pollen. Nice. And fortune teller says they were happy. They were very happy. Ah, we wasted the whole day. We didn't even check the fortune, so we wasted the whole day of fortunes. No. <laughs> I heard the mushroom cave has a dehydrator now. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm yawning, chat. We. It's been about three hours. Yeah. New game or continuation? This is a new game. We're back in spring. Uh, but we wanted to try all the 1.6 patch updates. Hmm. All right, chat. Thank you all for stopping by. I don't want to do too long a stream because I know I can just keep going if like if I just eat this. I want to like eat food and then keep going, but 
I know I don't want to make my VODs too long for, for folks anymore. <laughs> we'll go call it here for today. And then tomorrow, or new schedule coming out later today. Um, I'll try to make sure I have one out before the end of the day. Uh, but yes, thank you all for stopping by. Yeah. Okay, outro before... I'm going to go to outro before I end up getting a, a little bit too... To like one more thing, um, but yeah, chat. I have a question. What are you guys' thoughts on like this time? Because I've been streaming here about like two weeks now. At this time, it's the same time zone, but I'm wondering like, what would you guys think if I started a little earlier? Because then we can get a bit more. Like I could quickly eat lunch, or sorry, not lunch, uh, brunch before. Like maybe if I start like an hour earlier. Or two hours earlier? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> this time zone is good for us. I know this is the regular time, but like for me, it just ends up as like if I do three hour stream, it ends up being 1 p.m. And I actually kind of want to see if I could like take a couple of days to go visit some parks. And some of the parks close pretty early. So I want some time to be able to explore the city as well. <laughs> Looks fine for Pacific time. Early might be good. I'll try to stream a little longer to make that work, but like maybe like early, start a little earlier and end at around the same time. An hour earlier would be perfect. That's from Hakka's time zone though, that's the thing. Hakka streams at around an hour early, so I was thinking like two hours early. But it gets super late here, almost 12 a.m. Hmm. I'll, we'll, we'll try it a couple times. We'll try a couple of experiments and see how that goes. <laughs> All right, chat. Thank you all for stopping by. Oh shoot! Wait, the music is ending, and I haven't picked who to re uh to raid. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Battle is having a meltdown. We'll send you over to Battle's stream. <laughs> Have a fun time over at Battle's. Koyasumi, everybody. Koyasumi.